Hi everyone, this video kind of attaches to the last video I did on the surface area and volume of um, of a sphere and sometimes you get questions in math where you are asked not to find the volume or the surface area you are actually asked to find the radius okay and apparently my pen's not working very good here there it is you're actually asked to find the radius and they give you the surface area so here's a question like that. Okay, they give you a surface area of 63.4 centimeters squared and you're supposed to find the radius of this sphere. So you start by looking at the formula right here. Okay, and normally you would write that formula down right here. I'm going to save time and just get you to look at it. And now we're going to fill in what we know. We know the surface area is 63.4. I'm not going to write the centimeters right here because we're just dealing with these numbers for now. 63.4 centimeters squared is the surface area. And over here we have 4 pi and then r squared. Okay, we don't know. This is the part we do not know. And we're supposed to figure this out. Here's how you do it. What you do is you get rid of everything beside the r here. You get rid of this part, the 4 and the pi. And the 4 pi is really 4 times 3.14. To get rid of something when you're multiplying things together, the opposite of multiplying is divide. So we can divide this side by 4 pi, and the reason for doing that is it would get rid of this. It would turn 4 pi over 4 pi is just 1. 1 times r squared is just 1, so we're, we're really left with just r squared, which is great. But in math, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign that we did on this side. So we're going to divide this side also by 4 pi. Okay, or 4 times 3.14. Okay, um, let me get my trusty calculator out. And we're going to go 63.4 divided by, I'm going to put it in brackets, 4 times 3.14 in brackets. Just, so, just to make sure it gets done properly. I think it would still work just fine. But the answer should is, in this case, 5 point, let's just round it off, 5.05. .05. Okay. So let's round it off to 5.05 .05 is equal to r squared. Yes, it's in yellow now, I apologize. Now the way to get rid of, the way to get rid of the little squared symbol here is to do the opposite of squaring, which is square root. There's the square root symbol. And do the same thing on the other side. And that will leave us with r, and it equals whatever the square root of this is. So 5.05, .05, the square root of that on my calculator is 2.25, okay? 2.25, okay? We have just found the radius, and the radius is 2.25. Um, you should write it in a sentence if you were doing it on a test, but it would be 2.25 centimeters is the radius and if they ask the diameter, what if they ask the diameter, all you would have to do is double, double that number, double it. Okay? So 2.25 times 2, the, the diameter would be 4.5 centimeters. Okay? So that is how you find the radius or the diameter when you are given the surface area. Alrighty. Have a great day, everyone.